Nate, with only one day left until you get your cast off, I thought it might be a nice time to provide you with a personalized history lesson. We know that Mr. Wedge's favorite subject is history. You've been missing a lot of history lessons, and I'm sure you've been doing your history homework. But I thought, what better than a personalized history lesson for Nate the Great? Are you ready, Nate? It's November 17th, 2011, and it is time for history class. October 3rd, 2010. The Giants enter the final day of the season, one game in front of the Padres. They had previously lost the first two games of the series, and the very last thing, I repeat, the last thing they wanted to do was go into a one-game playoff on Monday. So Sunday, October 3rd, Jonathan Sanchez took the hill. The very enigmatic, unpredictable Jonathan Sanchez took the hill. Jonathan pitched an incredible, incredible game, and the Giants claimed the NL Western Division title with a 3 to nothing victory over the Padres that day. Sanchez pitched an awesome game and also added to his own cause by smacking a triple of his own to, yes, you guessed it, Triples Alley. And the Giants were the champions of the West. November 1st, 2010. The Giants, after winning the West, fought through tough, tough battles with the Atlanta Braves. Thanks to Brooks Conrad, for his terrible fielding, the Giants were able to move on to the National League Championship Series versus the vaunted Philadelphia Phillies. The Phillies also proved no match to the future world champions as Cody Ross, the MVP of the National League Championship Series, struck two, count them, two home runs versus the supposedly dominant pitcher Roy Halladay. Fast forward November 1st, 2010. Game 5 of your World Series Champion Giants World Series in Arlington, Texas. Cliff Lee is on the mound. Incredibly tough pitcher. But Edgar comes up to the plate with two outs in the 7th inning. Two men on base. Edgar sees a couple pitches and he sees something he likes. The next pitch, he pulls the trigger. Swings for the fences, and guess what? That ball is gone. It sounded a little something like this. Renteria, it's a high drive. Deep left center field. David Murphy going back. He's on the warning track. It is gone! Edgar Renteria has hit a three-run homer against Cliff Lee. And the Giants lead here in the World Series 3 to nothing. And that was a home run from Edgar Renteria that proved to be decisive in the World Series. Fast forward just a couple hours after the Renteria home run or less, and this was the scene on the field at Arlington. The Giants had won the World Series, the world champs of 2010. And the call sounded a little something like this. The right-hander for the Giants throws. Swing and a miss! And that's it! The Giants are world champions as they come pouring out of the dugout. Circling Brian Wilson. The bullpen. Flying in from left center field. Dancing. Hugging. And celebrating for all you Giants fans. Wherever you are, Giants fans, this party is just getting started. And the party was just getting started that night for your world champion, San Francisco Giants. And as the story goes, the San Francisco Chronicle on November 2nd looked like this. The Giants have won the World Series. Renteria repays team's faith with a huge home run. Timmy the Kid being carried off the field by his cohorts, the world champs. Your San Francisco Giants. Let's do it again, baby. Let's do it again. Nate, can't wait till tomorrow when you get your cast off. That is going to be quite a, quite a sight. Can't wait to see it. Hope you are doing great. Go 
World Champion Giants.